Otherwise, uh, we won't be able to continue. Oh yeah, you're ver well. You're yeah, very busy. Every, every person I know from from IET in New York said, "When you go, you have to go." I said, "I don't know. He's going to be busy." You know? yes. no, so, I'm, uh, so the, the city, so that you were talking about the garment yes, that you uh, saw in the museum. garment that I've seen, mm. and it is, I'm sure, still there mm. in the Museum of Frida. Mm -hmm. But I've not seen any Dalmatian or Beninois people, people from Benin, who draw vevers like we do here in Haiti. Mm -hmm. So I had to search for other roots. Mm -hmm. And the roots I found is the one of the Indians mm -hmm. uh, with what they call sun paintings. Mm -hmm. And with the sun paintings, which is drawing exactly like the vevers, they make fantastic uh, drawings. Mm -hmm. And uh, they do them here. They do them in the uh, uh, United States of America, uh -huh. in many places, and particularly in the Middle West. Uh -huh. And uh, so they know how to do veve also. Uh -huh. But the veve are what uh, you see in many places that I have here. Uh -huh. yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think they are beautiful. Oh. Yes. In terms of uh, divination, um, yes. now I, I know also because and I'm getting, I'm, I'm trying to get somewhere because there's a lot of confusion right now as to basically, um, obviously you're not confused, but there's a lot of confusion in the outside world as to what exactly they do or voodoo is. And being that you have, you know, these different elements, Congo and Dahomey or Fong, mm -hmm. what um, are some of the more traditionally linked systems of divination that um, retained were retained by Africans in IET. This question is important. Mm -hmm. It is so important that I, I think that it helps us to date part of our history. Mm -hmm. I know in Africa they do fa, mm -hmm. fa or ifa, mm -hmm. and they do practice that in all over Africa, mm -hmm. and it's well known. And in Haiti you do not find fa. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and the way we explain why we don't use fa is the fact that fa arrives in Africa very, very late in their history. Mm -hmm. At the time when Haiti was starting its war of independence mm -hmm. in 1790, mm -hmm. 1791 to be correct. You see, that's when fa start, arrived in Africa. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, we were no longer importing Africans. Mm -hmm. So this is why we don't have fa. Mm -hmm. For divinations, we use many methods. The methods, I think, uh, which is, uh, which would consider the whole thing, is that uh, it's a method called spiritual. That the human being is a spirit. We are souls. Mm -hmm. We are souls in a body. And that part of the soul of ours is uh, somewhat equivalent to all the souls that exist in the world, mm -hmm. meaning including the souls of uh, trees and plants and animals. And they are all of the same type of souls from the time of creation. Problems arise when there is disharmony mm -hmm. between either internal disharmony in oneself or external, meaning uh, to the family, to people who are nearby, to the boss at work, and uh, this kind of disharmony, whenever they have disharmony, we have to look for it right in the soul. This is why, in fact, in order to get back to that, we do it practically. If you are experienced, you need no support. You just look at the person, you vibrate in harmony with the other person, and once you are in harmony, you can sense yourself what is wrong with the other one. Mm -hmm. And you just tell him, which comes to my surprise, because very often it comes from very personal history in that mm -hmm. uh, way in the back. Mm -hmm. But in fact, all it takes is to vibrate in harmony with uh, the person in front of you. And once you can do that, then you can read the person. Yes. Now, this is what I say as a Hougan, meaning as a Wudu priest. Mm -hmm. But most People who come to say Ougan, it doesn't come for you to vibrate with him. They need something, they need yeah. the support. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Haitian people <coughs> use playing cards. Yes. We use playing cards, mm -hmm. we drop the cards, and through the cards, uh, thrown in a certain way, 
we see certain uh, shape and certain uh, appearances that tells us about the same thing, but in reality, it is from the Hugans, mm -hmm. sensitiveness, mm -hmm. sensitivity, mm -hmm. uh, vibrating with the other. I understand That's exactly it. what you're talking about. Juba. I, um, Juba? The, um, Juba. Yes. See, being that we had this catastrophe, which just happened, and from what I understand, and if I'm incorrect, please correct me. Juba, when they used the calabash, <coughs> placed it inside with a candle, I think it was used at certain um, ancestral ceremonies similar to Goka and um, Guadeloupe. Um, is any of that still in existence or has it of died out? Sure. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, this morning I was with the president mm -hmm. and this is what I want to do you next week mm -hmm. for all the dead of Haiti. Mm -hmm. Now, interesting that you say Juba. Y Juba for us, that means the reverence. Mm -hmm. Uh, remove your hat with mm -hmm. your juba. Yes. Uh, we say ajuba. Mm -hmm. uh, ajuba. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the juba dance. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it is also the dance of reverence. You dance that way and you dance that way. And doing the, the reverence. And the, and the drummer uses his feet also to yes. play the drum. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, uh, that's what the, the juba is. Mm -hmm. It's the reverence. The reverence to the ancestors. Uh, reverence of those who existed before us who left so much to us and to whom that we feel so grateful mm -hmm. uh, because I think and they have been so generous mm -hmm. with their progeny mm -hmm. that we did benefit of quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, if they did not exist, I don't know how we would exist. Right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> exactly. Right. So we, uh, that's it, Ajuba. Mm -hmm. uh, Juba. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful dance for us. We mm -hmm. dance that time. It's the dance of Cousin Zaka. Mm. That's a juba. Do you drum? Uh, well, a little bit, ah. <laughs> but we have to find the rhythm mm. because the rhythm tells that you is. all about the whole thing. Is. Who is who, who? How did you come into the traditions of your ancestors? Or how were you awakened? Or how did that manifest in you? How did you, how were you guided into um, becoming the, the the healer and spiritualist that you um, now are? In terms of, um, were you influenced by um, elders in your family? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course. In fact, uh, I'm from one of the very old family of Haiti, and that existed at the colonial time, mm -hmm. way before independence. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, it's a traditional family, and we could not be anything else but Buddhists. Voodoo is what we are. Mm -hmm. Voodoo, yeah. wow. Now, myself, growing up, I did not know much about Voodoo. Mm -hmm. But Voodoo does that. It's to put your child into conditions where you can learn the way of others. It's only when you master the way of others that it comes back now. Yeah. and modernize our own society. Yeah. So, our society is not uh, uh, fossilized or dead or something very old, but continuously being uh, renewed and uh, rejuvenated, so to speak. Yeah. And that's what we do.